Steve Smith with the orange bands. And the man in the middle ready for the opening face-off. The Stingrays are in all blue. The Flyers are in their road whites. And the puck is played forward into the Stingray zone. And Brown will help it around the boards. And there's his first save from the shot from a narrow angle. Decent crowd has made its way into the Hull Arena tonight. It's been a big day of sport in Hull. Galbraith trying to take this with him. Held up at the blue line by Nickerson. And the Stingrays go offside. Lows on. Oh, he drew a tripping call from Fleming, who just hung out a leg. And it was that little burst of speed just as he approached the blue line. There's Reba feeding it across. Nickerson reaches out, tries to send it back towards goal. Oh, it's going to be a tap in, and it's in. The puck slipped all the way across, and Reba couldn't miss. Singray is trying to get sticks in the way, trying to block it, but it slipped right away across. And Brown was completely out of the game. It was Nickerson joining the rush, and as he feeds it across, Brown attempts to poke it away. And when he can't, it means the net is wide open. Turcotte's trying to get straight back to the bench. It's Lukasiewicz is forced to turn away from goal. Still keeps hold of it. Loves to do this, Ned Lukasiewicz. Now to freeze up room for Wands. Goes for the shot and it's in! Took a deflection in front of Brown. The wrister from Wands and it's 2-0 Fife. Brown seems to be completely deceived. But it's Lukasiewicz who draws all the attention. And Brown moving towards his left-hand post as the puck deflects behind him. And after racing into a 5-0 lead last night, it's the Stingrays who find themselves two goals down tonight. It's all a little predictable from the Stingrays at the moment. Lozon one timer, kicks away, huge rebound. Lozon can bring it in. Davis from the angle, in and out of the glove. Avato must score. Oh, it's blocked in front and saved by Regan after the one timer is hit by Meyer. What a period Regan's having. Davis, Regan has lost his stick. That's what's lying on the ice at the moment. The Stingrays realize it. Oh, Avato has lost the puck and now Fleming can clear it. Oh, and Fleming's going to burst in, he's got Stewart in support. Oh, and the diving block from Havato turns the puck behind. Frantic stuff here, but what a passage of play from Kevin Regan. Still power play time, although the Stingrays have gone offside. Wow, that's as good as you'll see from Kevin Regan. Hopefully we've caught that on the replay. Diving out there, he lost his stick couple of follow-ups it was just before that that I think he made the better save penalty is coming to an end huge kill by the Flyers and Kevin Regan in particular he has been outstanding in this first period and he's needed to be his defensemen have helped him out as Galbraith lays the hit on Milam as the period ends what a period it has been for the five Flyers. Turnaround from last night. It's the Flyers who lead by two goals to nil going into the first intermission. So the Flyers putting bodies on the line. Done a good job of blocking pucks. Deflecting things away and not giving the Stingrays a clear side of goal. Maybe their moments are still to come. They're out on the ice now. And the first face-off has come back into the Five Flyers zone. Here's Fulton. Happy just to get it to neutral ice. Pasha reaches out and gathers this one in. Look forward to Knox. Chopped on. Flyers play it back out and the Stingrays will just have to hold on to it for a moment while they clear the zone. Now Knox can come forward, pass didn't find its target, play stays in the zone and the pass intended for Knox 
was about a foot off the ice and not really a lot he could do with it. Oh, and been caught up high. That's going to be a penalty on the Flyers again. It's a roughing call. Knox gains the line, dumps it in, and it nearly got away from Regan. Rocks, Knox is quick, he was closing in. David Brown was tapping his stick, alerting his team to the Flyers who were lurking for that stretch pass. A couple of times this season, the Stingrays have been caught out on line changes. Of course, in the second period, it's that long change from the team bench into the defensive zone as the shot on Brown is saved. Chamont it was that had the attempt. We haven't seen a lot of niggly stuff after the whistle. First time the two teams have even looked at each other slightly cross after a stoppage. Long shot through. Oh, and the puck is loose behind the goal. Regan was in trouble for a moment. It looks as though he had Galbraith kind of skate into him a little bit. I'm not sure whether that jarred the puck loose or whether it was already free behind the goal, but nervous moments for the Flyers. Now they can turn Fent into attack, and Lukasiewicz just took too big a wind-up and left the puck there for Galbraith to pinch. Look at this speed, Galbraith moving in, and the save is made by Regan. Shifted it to the forehand and tried to flick it towards that far corner. And Regan stood up tall once again. Save off the chest. Galbraith. The big man, but such a strong skater. Now Knox. Oh, and that shot hit once and deflected wide. Davis fed it right through the danger area and all the way to the far side. The Flyers able to get this out and they'll play it back in, which means that Davis can go get it because there's no offside. It's played back in by the defending team. Lozon calls for the pass and gets it from Pasha. Trying to move his way through. Carl Lozon, lovely move, great save. Tanaka's got a chance. Tanaka. Oh, and again. It's superb net minding from Kevin Regan. Didn't fall for the fake and stood up and kept in position. And didn't really give him anything to shoot at. Frederick takes it on, trying to burst between two. Frederick's done it. And then poked away well by Haynes, although it's going to be another penalty. Flyers bench and not happy. So it's six on five as the first penalty ends, but there's another one coming on the Flyers. All oh, fired across, well intercepted. And it means it's going to be a tripping call. Not a lot of angle there on the backhand, but Havato's taken this. Now an opportunity, Jameson, shot saved, rebound, saved again, puck is still free, and now it's not. Well, at times tonight, it really has seemed like Kevin Regan is playing his full stingrays on his own. Jameson with the first shot, spinning on the follow-up was Havato. A couple of other blue shirts lurking for a second rebound, and they didn't get one. 23 seconds left in the period. Flyers trying to set up one more chance. Vato not trying to let them. Nickerson keeps it in. Nickerson has oh, a really weak shot. Oh, and the deflection. Just goes wide of the goal, and the clearance from the Stingrays will ensure that that's, this period ends scoreless, and that the Five and Flyers' two-goal lead still stands at the end of the second. 28 seconds of power play for the Five Flyers at the start of the third period. Davis in the box for slashing. So it'll be five on four in the Flyers' favour. Now Steve Smith, the referee, prepares to drop the puck. Stingrays far from out of it. They've had enough pressure to score several in this game. And Kevin Regan hasn't let one by him yet. Fulton. No way past Turcotte. 
Lowe's on up the boards but not out. Nickerson sends it in, Shamont deflected it to the corner. Penalty on Davis has now ended. And we'll skate five on five. This one is going to get called icing. So that'll put the Flyers straight back into their defensive zone. What comes to Nickerson. Pass moved across, this is dangerous. Flyers are moving in and Brown's made the save to deny Shamal. Davis. Oh, this is good. Look at this from Davis all the way through. Oh, and he tried to play the backhand pass. And again, there was a flyer stick in the way. And that meant the puck could just sit there for Regan to cover up. It was Wands got his stick in the way of the pass. We can see that. Passage of play again. It's good from Davis through the neutral ice. Watch for Wands having been beaten. Having had his defensive partner beaten, he came across on the angle. Recognising the play really well. Cross for Pasha. Better cross. Knocked down and they try the little wraparound with Pasha. And play is stopped as the net. I think has been just slightly dislodged, has it? Only two shots faced by the Stingrays in that second period. Moving through is Frederick, and that's a really good blocker stop, and again the net is off. As Frederick couldn't stop his momentum. And went into Regan. Nice hands to make the opportunity for himself. It was Regan that reached out with the blocker. Lozon's not happy, he wants a penalty called on Reba, he's not going to get one. That deflection has taken it over the glass. Oh, and a little bit of afters. Well, there was a little slash from the Flyers player. I have to say, I can't pick who that is in the corner. Looked like he did just have a little swing with the stick. And we'll take another look at it again, see if we can see anything just as the play comes to the end, comes to an end. And he does just have a little dash. With the lumber. Wands was the first to recognise that pass. Wasn't going to find a blue shirt. Now Stewart fed all the way across. Opportunity for Gunn and Brown's made the save. The puck is live. But the ref couldn't see it and the whistle has gone. It's another good start from David Brown. He's keeping the Stingrays in this. a lovely move stepping in to the play and Brown was fully scrambled flat on his back trying to take away as much net as he could low down both their first and second units have had plenty of ice time on the power play tonight including five on three time that's a nice little reverse lows on that's the goal they wanted and Carl Lozon's made it happen after a lovely reverse pass Matty Davis, the creator. And Kevin Reagan is beatable. Lovely reverse from Davis. And the Rister has the power and the accuracy. A power play goal. Five on four for the whole Stingrays. Nickerson slashing penalty proves a costly one. off the post that's a beauty and that might just be it Lucas Savic with a ripper let's take a look at it again no one out to close it down and it went pinging in if they don't it'll be the Flyers and take the two points back north. Pasha. Navato, Pasha. Lows on. Oh, he's fired it against the post and Reagan didn't see it. 
inch to the left and Lausanne would have scored. No question about that. Davis. Lausanne again. Davis. It's all very tight in front. There's no way through for a shot. Pasha. Lozon. That was blocked by Sura Niemi. Lozon again. Slap pass to Davis. Still a minute of power play. Lozon. Not a lot of movement. Pasha shoots it off the end boards. Then comes back out. Lozon will rip it. Oh, and kicks away. Superbly by Regan. Novato with a nice little play off the boards. Davis around. There'll be room for Lozon. Long shift for these Flyers demon, but they're not being dragged around a lot. Davis. Pasha shoots and they've hit the crossbar this time. Can you believe this? One off the post and one off the crossbar. It is just not the whole Stingrays night tonight. Lozon feeds it across for Tanaka. Sent towards goal, he came all the way through. It's been forced in! Galbraith, I think, has got this one. Although there was a huge crowd at the top of the crease. And we've got a grandstand minute and five in store. The Stingrays' aggressive play from Omar Pasha pays off. With the netminder pulled, they've got a goal back. Giving the goal to Davis. Galbraith was certainly the first to react, as you can see on the replay. It must have been the final touch at the back post. Indeed, it was. Davis applied the final touch. 58 55. It'll be classed as even strength. Although, with the netminder pulled, it was 6 on 5. Reba can get it clear, will Fleming get to this? He will, this will surely be it, has he got an angle to score? He's hit the post! My goodness, he's hit the post! That would have ended it, but Fleming hit the post on the backhand, he didn't have a lot of angle in fairness to him. The Stingrays have got 30 seconds to save themselves. Time continues to tick down, are they going to get one more opportunity? Havato, oh it's well blocked in front, Tanaka knocked it down but couldn't keep it in the zone and the Stingrays can't touch it, oh and that will be offside, will they call that deliberate offside? The Flyers certainly want that to be the call. And it looks as though the face-off will be just outside the Flyers zone, so the bench 4-5 don't get their wish, but they've only got 11 seconds to survive. Jordan Knox is going to lurk on this right wing side. If Davis can draw the puck back, you know they'll fire it across to this near side. Fleming and Davis. No one kicked from the face off. Davis has words for Fleming. And that's going to result in Davis being kicked out. They're going to let Meyer take it. Played into the zone, but fired straight back out. The empty net missed, and that will be an icing call. Maybe the Flyers could have thought a little bit more about that. The empty net is tempting, but the icing stops play almost immediately and gives the Stingrays one last shot. Eric Galbraith is on for Jordan Knox, and Pasha was pointing at the crease. Opportunity, oh, and it's just turned around and the Flyers have played it to the boards and that's just about going to do it. The puck is sent down the ice but wide as time expires and the five uh, Flyers uh, are winners tonight. The clock had expired. I don't think the internet would have counted even if it was on target. The Flyers won't care a jot. There was a brief moment following that face-off where it looks as though there was going to be an opportunity for the Stingrays. The Flyers were just able to force it towards the boards. And for the second weekend running, the Stingrays have won on the road on a Saturday night, but lost at home on a Sunday night.